Hello and welcome back to my fragrance channel. Today I'm going to be doing clean, fresh, soapy, your skin but better, clean girl aesthetic kind of perfumes. Um, I love this category of fragrance because I just think it's it's so easy. You know, you don't really have to think about it. I love those fragrances that you can just grab and go and you smell great. It's not too much. You're never going to worry if it's too strong. Um, I think these are great for work, for just running errands, whatever. So anyway, I have quite an assortment here today. Some that I've talked about a lot and some that I haven't talked about very much. So here we go. The first one, one of my favorites, and I actually don't have the Eau de Parfum right now. I just have the perfume oil, but they're both lovely. Lake and Skies 1111 oil. I think this one is so gorgeous. It's a bit hard to describe what it smells like because it just smells good. <laughs> um, it smells, the vision that I get, I feel like it's so much easier to describe things by a vibe, which may or may not be helpful at all. But the vision that I get is that you're at a luxurious hotel. You have just put on the fluffiest, softest white robe, and you can tell that it's just been laundered in luxurious laundry detergent. And it still is a little bit warm, and it smells like clean laundry, but not in any kind of way that's sharp or harsh. It just smells clean and good and warm. That's what this, <laughs> that's the vibe of the 1111 perfume oil. I will say I like to, I actually like to put on the 1111 body oil and then put on the perfume oil in my pulse points. And then I like to spray the Eau de Parfum on my clothes and my hair. I know you're not supposed to spray, you know, perfume on your clothes and your hair, whatever. I do it, do it at your own risk. Um, I love this one. I think it smells so, so clean, so gorgeous so effortless as well and the oil does last quite a while the eau de parfum lasts okay but i just love the experience of getting to spritz you could just use the oil though and it's beautiful this also layers really well with almost everything so next this one's not actually my favorite but i feel like you can't do one of these lists without including it at least it's not my favorite on its own not a perfume this one is I think entirely one note and I think it is Cetalox. I think I'm correct. Maybe not though. I'm second guessing myself. But basically this is supposed to smell kind of different on everybody. I don't know, just like your skin but better. It is a molecular scent and I only like this layered with other fragrances. On its own, I think it doesn't have, it almost has a slight pepperiness to it. It's lightly woody. It's nice. I just find it a little bit lackluster on its own, but I will say if you have a fragrance that is underperforming, this one is lovely if you layer it on top or layer it with it so that it kind of amplifies the projection and performance of the other fragrance. I just, it's just not giving me enough on its own. The next one is relatively new to my collection, but I smelled this a while ago. I smelled this in Paris on my honeymoon because I was staying next to the Harmonist Boutique. And I fell in love with it, and now I have it, so I'm so excited. This one is like equal parts aquatic fresh floral with warm, musky orris. It's so good. It's so, so good. It's so calming smelling to me. I don't know why, but you do have, you have some citrus in here. You have some like aquatic notes, some fresh, fresh florals. But then as it dries down, it just gets this lovely warm powderiness from that musk, the orris. I think there's like some light woods down in the base. It's not a very woody fragrance. But something about that mix of being an aquatic fresh floral with that powdery orris smells so calming, so lovely. It's so good. I love this one. This one is one of the more unique fresh fragrances, in my opinion, and it also is an extra de parfum, I think. It's a parfum concentration, um, and so I find that this one lasts really well, but is very soft, if that makes sense. So the next one I've talked about on here quite a lot. You'll know that I love this one, Apollonia by Zerzhov. I swear this is the most underrated Zerzhov fragrance. Why is this one not talked about more? Um, the Oris fragrance of my dreams. This one is just straight up. It is white flowers, orris butter. I love that, orris butter. And white musk. 
And as far as Iris fragrance, Iris Oris fragrance, no, 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 no. Iris Oris fragrances go, I feel like Iris can pull quite dry and fresh in a way, like cold and powdery. And I feel like this one has a bit more body to it, a bit more warmth in a sense, but it's not warmth as in like vanilla warmth at all. I don't know. Something about this one is just so special to me. There is that touch of white floral, but it's not like a, it doesn't jump out at you as a white floral fragrance. It just adds a little bit of something. And then the white mask in here is beautiful. I love this one. Also, great longevity. Eternal longevity on this fragrance, but again, very intimate, soft projection. So I feel like with all of these, they would be perfect work fragrances. I'm not going to like offend anybody. Ellis Brooklyn Myth. I got so excited when I first tried this perfume because I had been looking for a perfume that smelled like Biolage shampoo for literally forever. I have loved Biolage shampoo as long as I can remember. I just, I love the way it smells. And this just smells so much like it with a bit more white musk as it dries down. So if you haven't smelled Biolage shampoo, it's fresh, floral, a little musky, just clean smelling. It's not like an overbearing floral. It's not fruity at all. And I think I like that about it because I feel like so many shampoos kind of veer in a fruity direction. Um, and this one is just the most fresh white musk floral. And this one smells a lot like it. So if you have used Biolage shampoo and you love the smell, you should try out Myth for sure. I think it's beautiful. I will say the performance on this one, not at all what I wish it was. I literally doused myself. Like I drenched myself in this perfume, but it's worth it because it smells literally incredible. You could also definitely layer this, I feel like especially it layers well with 1111, the oil. So if you want to amp up the longevity, that would be a good combo. Next one, again, not the best longevity. I also doused myself in this one, but Jo Malone's Woods Agency Salt had to be on this list. I think it is stunning. I do have, oh, it's so good. It's just so good. Um, I do have the body cream, which I think wildly helps with the longevity. Get the body cream. It's so worth it. Don't get the lotion. Get the actual body cream that's in like a tub and layer them. This is so good. It's just this light woody, lightly salty, slightly aromatic. I love the salt in here. It's just, it's so beautiful. Something about this does have a creamy quality to me. Not a lactonic creamy, but a body lotion creamy quality. The first time that I smelled this, I literally was like, that smells like the best body lotion. And now I have the body lotion. So I guess you could just get the body lotion, but I like having both. Like I said, I like having that experience of spraying perfume. Um, so I do layer the body lotion and then I spray the perfume in. I find especially that this lasts well in my hair. Again, don't come for me. I know you're not supposed to put it in your hair because it's drying, but I do it anyway. So next one Edition de Veronique by Maison Zera. I know I've talked about this one several times. It's a bar. It smells like the best bar of soap. Rose, creamy soap. You know like how really nice bar soap has a creamy quality? Something about the musk that's in here does have that quality. Like it just, oh, it's so good. I think this one is stunning if you want a soapy fragrance, especially if you like a bit of rose. There's also, um, Iris and Juniper. Juniper in here. It's not a heavy rose at all. It's a very light rose. And this one has eternal longevity on clothes. Lighter on skin, but on clothes, you can spray this on and it will stay there until you wash it. It's actually incredible. So I love this one. I love all my mise and zeros, but definitely if you're going for a soapy clean, I think this one is wonderful. And definitely is um, much more long-lasting than some of the ones on this list. Although Apollonia is also very long-lasting and Yen Transformation as well. Uh, next one is Molecula One Plus Iris. This one is, I mostly get, I mean it is, it's just ISOE Super and Iris. It reminds me a little bit actually of Prada Iris, but amped up and with more of that aromatic woody quality that you get from ISOE Super. This one's weird because <laughs> when other people wear it, I can smell it so well. It like, it like fills the area around them. When I wear it, I think it's just so easy to go nose blind to those molecular scents. When I wear it, truly can't really smell it at all. 
So I thought the first time I wore it, I was like, this is, this is terrible longevity, but it didn't. It just, I would just go in nose blend. Um, so one tip for this one that I like to do is spray it a little bit lower and on the back of my neck to where it's not like right up by my nose <laughs> because I go nose blind to it less quickly. But this one's lovely. It's got that ISOE Super, you know, Molecule 1, if you've smelled that, just that light woodiness and then it adds kind of a powdery iris. But this one, I like this iris because it's not too rooty. Chanel number no. 5 Low. This is specifically the Low Flanker and if you haven't smelled it, and you've tried the original number five, it is a much lighter, much brighter, more effervescent lemony take on the Chanel number no. five DNA. So much softer, brighter, lighter. It, it smells fizzy. It really does. It smells so clean, fresh, and fizzy. It smells to me like a bath that has a lemon bath bomb in it. And maybe you're drinking a glass of champagne in the bath with the lemon bath bomb. It's really good. I love this one. I actually wore this, I think, all through college. I think I actually, this was my fragrance for most of college, so I have very fond memories of this one. Um, my mother actually wears the original Chanel number no. 5, and so it kind of like has that hint of that DNA that kind of is nostalgic and reminds me of her, but it is a very different interpretation on that, so give this one a try if you haven't. It does just smell very clean. It really very fresh, very clean. It does have a touch of those aldehydes and just kind of gives it a bubbly, soapy feel. And the last one is Bulgari's Omnia Crystalline. I love this fragrance. I think it is so calming and pretty. It's got lotus, tea, bamboo, um, and to me it just... I'm actually going to spray it because I can't really spray it out of this, or can't smell it out of the cap. It's so pretty. Still a little bit of alcohol. It's so, so nice. To me, it smells like a luxurious hotel spa. Or, yeah, no, it smells like a luxurious hotel spa to me, which I love. I feel like I love fragrances that can kind of transport you, and I love how fragrance can affect your mood, and for me, this one just makes me feel at peace and calm. <laughs> so I love this one. Again, longevity on projection as well, very soft. Longevity is on the softer side, but I will say it lasts pretty well on clothes. If I will, a lot of times I'll wear this um, in the evening, like as I'm getting ready for bed or whatever, and I wear like a white fluffy robe and I will spray it on, and usually in the morning I can still smell this perfume on the like collar of the robe. So I love this one. I think it's beautiful. It's a classic, and you can usually get it for a pretty affordable price on like FragranceNet. And that is all. That is my list of clean, fresh perfumes. I love these fragrances. They're definitely some of my most worn. As you can see, some of the dents in them. I've worn a lot of them. And um, yeah, let me know if there's any other videos that you would like to see down in the comments, any like requests, and I will see you in the next video.